guys, my name is Rebecca, welcome back to my channel. On this channel I go through all things accounting, finance and investment related, so if you do like this kind of stuff, please do consider subscribing, and otherwise let's get straight into the video. So in today's video I'm going to talk to you very briefly about audit, what audit is and what you can expect from a job in audit. So audits are so different to accountants because accountants are the individuals who are completing the year end and are involved in the day-to-day -day transactions of a business. Now an auditor will look at quarter end, month end, year end and they will analyse the data that you've prepared or the accountant has prepared and they'll perform certain tests on that data to check for accuracy, if it's sufficient, if the financial statements give a true and fair view, that sort of thing. But the range of tests that they do test anything from the profit and loss or income statement all the way through to the balance sheet or statement of financial position. So what an auditor tends to do is they base their tests on the risk of the business. So when they're doing the audit planning at the very, very start of an audit, they will look at the risk of that business from an environmental point of view, from the industry that they are in, from historic data, and they will also check things like news items, depending on whether the company's, you know, listed or if they're a small business. Again, it just depends on the risk of the business. So if the business is quite risky, then the amount of testing that they do might be a little bit larger than a, com a small company where there is less risk. So at this point, an auditor will develop certain tests, so such as you know sales walkthrough testing, purchase walkthrough testing, and what a walkthrough test is is basically taking an individual from the very start of the business transaction. So, say with um, purchase walkthrough, purchase order, all the way through to purchase invoice, and then the supplier statements, seeing that that's been posted on the nominal and then seeing the corresponding entry in the bank once that's cleared, for example. And they'll do the same on the sales side. So that's just to make sure that they've got a good understanding of the way that business works. So if you see an also doing this test, that's exactly what they're doing, just gaining an understanding. And if they find risks or areas of concern, then they will expand their testing to make sure that they cover that. An audit doesn't test everything. It's based on sample testing. So they'll only test a certain number of transactions within say, creditors or debtors. But what they're ultimately trying to do when they're testing is they will pick up on a transaction and they'll want to agree that to third party evidence where possible. So again, a really good example is just a balance that's left on the trade creditors report or the purchase ledger control account. And they will want to see that agreed back to a supplier statement from the supplier. So that's a form of third party evidence. So that's the testing side, so there's a lot more to it, but that's just a very, very, very quick brief overview of what that is. So the other side of it is analytical. So they'll be having a look at trends of that particular business that they're auditing. So they'll compare this year's financial statements to last year for comparability, and they will also run through any variances in the year with the finance director or the relevant individual within a business who can answer those questions regarding those variances. Now once an auditor is happy with the audit that has been performed and they've got all sufficient relevant answers from a client, then they might sign that audit off and have a completion meeting with the client to go through any points raised or any adjustments to the financial statements or anything that they think is a cause for concern and other items. And at that point, the financial statements will be signed off by the audit partner and also by the director of that company or whoever does sign those statutory accounts. So if you work in practice and you work in audit, you'll be doing this for various different clients all the way across the year. So you might be working on one individual client for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. It could be a matter of days. And specifically, if you're a junior working in audit, then you'll be passed from job to job basically just make the best use of your time and the way that it works in audit is that anybody who's down here at the junior level their work will be reviewed by the manager the managers will be reviewed by the audit partner or audit senior and then at the top of the chain is going to be the audit partner who is the ultimate review of that job so actually working in audit is quite interesting from that point of view that you get to see a lot of different businesses and you get to see how they work and they might be in different sectors so you might have um, individuals that you're auditing from the private sector or public sector or large businesses, small businesses, that sort of thing. And if you're somebody who's not quite sure what you want to do after you've qualified with AAT, ACCA, ACA, SEMA, then it sort of opens your eyes a little bit to the different functions and departments that you could be involved in going forward and the type of business that you want to work for. So what I say is that no day is the same at all. 
And even if you might be put on the same client next year at the same time, things change in that business year on year. So that's quite interesting as well. So I hope that answers some questions on audit, what it is, what an auditor does, and what you can expect from a role in audit. As always, please do consider subscribing as it does help the channel grow. And I shall see you on the next video.